I am so pleased to be joined on the red carpet by Mark Trudeau, who is the CEO of Bayer Healthcare. And Mark, I have uh, one a thank you for you because Bayer has been so supportive of the HBA over recent years, and we really, really appreciate your role with the HBA as a corporate partner. Well, thank you. It's our pleasure. Okay. Well, we've talked a little bit with some other interviewees today about some of the challenges that um, are facing us across um, the coming years right. in healthcare, and I would love to have some of your opinions about looking at challenges in a little unique light, opportunities. What challenges do you see? coming up that also brings some unique opportunities to the healthcare industry and the healthcare players? Well, I think for the industry at, at large and certainly for our company, the biggest opportunity is represented by healthcare reform, oddly enough, mm -hmm. because clearly we're going to have greater access or, or more patients will have greater access to medicines. The big challenge and the uncertainty is whether or not that access is going to be overshadowed by the cost containment measures to get there. But I think the industry really has the opportunity to drive innovation and as long as we continue to do that, and that's essentially what we're all about at Bayer, I think we'll have tremendous opportunities for the future. Okay, well with these challenges and opportunities as I keep looking at them, what kind of different, unique leadership attributes is it going to take? Well, given the, the changing nature of the healthcare environment, I think it clearly uh, provides a lot of opportunities for people that are aspiring to senior leadership positions in our industry. And my best advice to people is to get involved very early on in your career. Get a lot of experience. Um, one of the things that I do at Bayer is I sponsor a lot of diversity of initiatives, including our women's leadership uh, initiative. And one of the things that I always advise people is get involved in initiatives like these and get a broad set of experiences because in a dynamic healthcare environment, those individuals that have a broad set of experiences are going to be better prepared for the challenges of the future. Well, that's a perfect answer as far as I'm concerned because what we pride ourselves with the HBA is in some cases providing that risk-free opportunity for volunteer leaders to, you know, sort of, um, you know, cut their teeth, so to speak, on some of the leadership skills required in years to come. So thank you so much for allowing us the opportunity to work with Bear, and thank you for joining us today. It's our pleasure. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks for having me. Thank you.